welcome back family friends and fans it's karma lately thank you guys for joining me today i want to show you a coptic stitch notebook that i just sold and it is a very simple notebook it's got a little pocket here and just a basic little notebook a couple of signatures It's a Coptic stitch, so the pages lay flat. Another little pocket in the back with a quote here. And, oh, there's no quote there. So, this is my famous newspaper straw uh, book binding. I also made um, these corners with cardstock and then Mod Podge them just as an embellishment. So, I did not get an opportunity. I didn't have any room on my, I didn't have any storage in my phone. So, I didn't get an opportunity to show you guys how I was able to make this elephant. Now, if you remember my, my previous um, Coptic stitch notebook with the elephant, I made a pattern on tracing paper and I just drew the pattern and then cut it out and then put the tracing paper on here. I was kind of debating between using tracing paper and cardstock, but I figured I should have a nice strong piece of cardstock that I could, um, I just took a scrap, scrapbook uh, page and I made this pattern from it ironically it kind of tore right here right on the on the trunk so for now I'm not gonna think much of it I'll just tape it down but it is important that I get this pattern onto another stable cardstock or even this like kind of craft paper just because I don't want I really really don't want anything I just want to always have it and then I'll keep it in my notebook I have a I have a little album book with all of my patterns for different things and I'll show you guys that at another time but I just wanted to go over really quickly how I was able to go from a blank piece to this so this is going to be my forever, this is going to be my forever pattern. And now I'm going to just get us, I'm going to get some paper. Great. So this is sketch paper. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do it really quickly. And actually, I'm not going to use a pencil because I there's like a specific pencil that I like to use. And it's funny when I don't find it, I actually don't want to use a pencil. <laughs> you could do this with crayon, marker, pen, whatever you want. Um, actually, I don't want to do it with green. I don't want to do it with green. Well, it's not going to come out exactly like this one, but just so you guys can get an idea of how I got that. How I got the elephant to look so, how should I say? It just looks like a real, like real texture on the elephant. The patterns of the wrinkles and all of that. From looking at the elephants online and magazines, they have these like wrinkles that go in different directions and they kind of cross 
into each other. And this is just like a messy crayon. Um, this is called the Slick Sticks. I like the Slick Sticks because I'll show you here. When you use a Slick Stick, take my painting towel. Um, I love this about the, the, the Slick Stick. I love how this then happens. And I'm down with that, you know? So it kind of gives it a little bit. So this could work. I'm not going to cut it yet. I'm just going to kind of work this little slick stick. Love it. So now kind of decided where my light is gonna be and where my shadow is gonna be without even deciding, so that's fine. Put that here. Now the next thing I want to do, I want my distress ink. Now this distress oxide is the vintage photo. Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. Okay, so actually I got some brown. Now don't make fun of my uh, jar here. This is my Eco Styler gel jar and I have mixed a couple of colors in here. I mixed orange and black and I added some purple so then I also have let me just take out all of my supplies so all the supplies you're gonna need you're gonna need some black you're gonna need some brown you're gonna need if you don't have distress ink you can take this same kind of like neutral brownish kind of and mix it with a little more black and then add water to it and then use it as a distress ink. And I also have this darker brown in a spray. So kind of like what I was telling you. So if you want to see what kind of brown this is. See? It's actually not a darker brown. It's more like a lighter yellowish brown. So I like that. And then your brushes of choice and some scissors to cut it out when you're ready. So what I did last time was I kind of started from the middle of the kind of started from the middle of the trunk. just created some
Another thing that I failed to mention is this um, watercolor. This is a brownish watercolor. I don't have the, the brand, sorry. If I find it, <laughs> I will um, definitely link it in the description or at least um, give you the name of the company. But yes, so this watercolor, I'm just going to add a little bit of water.
Okay, and then finally, just gonna distress the um, the elephant with a little bit, not too much actually, because hmm. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm not gonna put any ink just yet. I think. I'm going to do this phase first. So yeah, let's Mod Podge this bad boy first. Now, <coughs> Ooh. my mom just gave me a ginger candy. It's from Chimes these ginger chews now this one's peppermint <clears throat> and it's got it's got a little extra kick i'm not gonna lie it kicked me right in the shindig uh so excuse me for that all right so i'm gonna clear as best as i can <clears throat> so one of the final things that I did for this was um, the Mod Podge. And I've been finding that actually um, putting the Saran Wrap on top preserves the Mod Podge a whole lot better. Um, it dries out pretty easily if it's not properly um, covered. Now, sometimes the watercolor reacts with the... Mod Podge, so I'm just very gentle. I try not to do it too abrasively. Just lightly covering. Now, because this is a handmade, um, sorry, not handmade, hand-painted elephant, every time I do it, it will come out differently. Every single time. There's no way that I'm going to be able to get it exactly the same because it's uh, painted by hand. Now, I am going to scan, you know, take a picture of it, scan it, and I can use it whenever I want. Um, but I cannot replicate it by hand. I just can't do it. Um, it's never going to happen, so you can forget about that. So now that she's all dried up, you see how she's kind of come to life. She's come to life and I want to distress her a little bit. Not a lot. And... I don't have to give her the same treatment that I gave the other one just um, a little something you know when you're when you're working with these uh, mediums you have to be prepared to get your hands dirty you should be anyway um, this one is not really doing much what I do want to do I do I'm gonna take another one of these gosh these are so addicting and then it has like the powder I'm not gonna touch it with my hands because my hands have paint all over them but oh God, so good. Look at that. That's a really good candy. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't want to eat plastic. Oh. So good. I might add a little bit of water to that. And with my finger, I'm going to lightly distress certain areas. I just put down this craft paper and it's already dirty, but you know, that's the reason why I put it down because I honestly... Um, if there's any paper that I'm willing to destroy, it's this craft paper. I like to work with my hands <clears throat> and get in there, you know. And I think that's it. I mean, I think I've already done too much. But there she is. Uh, let me see if I can. I have a nice background for you guys. You can see her better. And she's come to life. She now looks like, to me, I don't know, anyways, it looks like um an elephant that maybe... Well, maybe not a real, real elephant, but I mean, kind of. So that's how I went from nothing to something. And like I said, they're not going to be identical. There's always going to be a difference, but I'm happy with both of them. And I, you know, I could still create some lines here and... But overall, super happy. So thank you guys for watching um, this video, um, this book, this Coptic Stitch Notebook was for my dear, dear friend Nikki, Nicole Rosario in Florida. She always comes down um, and she saw my notebook that I had gifted to my sister and she requested instead of the zebra, she requested this one. And so... Nikki, this is for you. I'm assuming if I if I'm playing this video, I'm assuming that you are already um, you already have this uh, notebook in your possession. So thank you so much for your uh, patronage and thank you to my YouTube subscribers for watching. We're almost at 300, so I'm going to be able to give away the um, the prize for the 300 subscribers to the lucky winner and then I'll be able to announce my next giveaway for when I reach 500 subscribers um so I'm really really excited about that one as well so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace <laughs>